Today we're going to do a quick update of my backyard off-grid solar power system and I finally added a third panel so we have three 270 watt Renogy panels in the back that are polycrystalline and we have 300 watts of panels in the front but this is for product testing for my other videos. And all I use for mounting is a couple 2x4s and a few concrete anchors and L brackets. And these solar panels have a wire that runs along the back edge of my backyard to my solar shed. And this is my solar shed. I haven't talked about it much, but I've been upgrading it for the last couple months. And it's awesome. I can't wait to show you. And this is it guys, this is my off-grid solar power system shed. And these inverters are wired in parallel for split phase operation. So each one supplies um, each leg and then we have them supplying a distribution panel. And I have quite a few circuit breakers in here, but I'm using these two for the 240 volt receptacle outside so I can speed charge my Tesla or even possibly supply my house's panel in a grid down situation. And then this circuit breaker is for this surge strip and then this one powers the other inverter so I can charge the other batteries off of this system. And the solar panel array is connected right here with these two wires. So this is like the main inverter that powers everything else. And down here we have four Battleborn batteries connected in series, series, and then together in parallel to power the LV2424s. This is one of my old projects. This is the backup system to this one. And this one charges this one through an AC cord. So the AC input's connected to the AC output of that one. And this is only single phase, but it's a really nice system as a backup system. And we have an Ant BMS, which is a very cheap BMS, and I was just testing to see if it would even work, but I've been using this for like four months now, every single day, and it works really well. And this thing's really awesome, but these are always out of stock. But yeah, this is a great little combo system that I've been messing with for a long time now. And this is an LV5048. I was using this for split phase operation to supply that panel before, but I wanted to learn how to program those and put them in parallel. For this one, I think this is probably the easiest large inverter you can get. You just hook up a 48 volt battery and turn it on, and you can change the settings to split phase or even three phase instantly. So this is probably the easiest one that I know of. And this will serve as a test bed for 48 volt BMSs in the future. And on this wall, we're gonna do 24 volt BMS testing. I haven't built it up yet, but we're just gonna slap it right here. And we're gonna use the same fortune lithium iron phosphate cells in this one. So this will be an awesome wall very soon here too. And that's pretty much it. I just wanna show you guys a run through of my new system. What's really cool about this though, is if I turn on the main system that's connected to solar, all the other systems will charge because all of these AC inputs and automatic transfer switches will kick on and start charging up these batteries. So I'm gonna have like four or five systems in here all charging off of that single solar panel array which has three 270 watt panels. So it's a very awesome system and as a backup system and because this is a grid tie, I could easily feed the grid. I'm not sure if that's UL listed for this state, but I'll look into the local laws and regulations. But if I ever needed to, or if I had to supply my panel or charge my Tesla, I could use this system alone, or I could use this system. Single phase, I'm not a big fan of anymore because I want to be able to supply large AC distribution panels. But if I'm just, you know, running an RV or a van, that thing is awesome. I still need to add some solar panels to the roof of the shed, but that's coming in a bit. Also, I have an LED light on the roof and it has a motion sensor. So whenever I walk in here, it turns itself on. And the reason I haven't posted update videos of this shed is pure laziness. No, I'm kidding. It was because it was freezing cold and every time I came out here, it was just, it was frigid and I didn't have enough sunshine to run my heater. Now that we actually have the sun above the tree next to me, um, I have enough solar panel power to run a heater in here when I'm working. And it gets toasty warm in here. The next challenge that I will update you guys on is powering an air conditioner in here off of less than a thousand watt solar panel array. But if we insulate this enough, I think we'll be able to keep it cool during summer because here in Las Vegas, it gets very, very hot. So that's gonna be the next challenge. Um, I've already sealed off a lot of the holes as well and insulated this side, but I'm gonna insulate that side and seal more of the tiny cracks and we have to make it as cold as possible. I wanna keep it at like 80 to 90 degrees all through summer. So that's gonna present the hardest challenge um, for sure because I only ha I have like less than a thousand watts available out there. 
Is it enough to keep this shed cool? So that's going to be a really cool question to answer in the following videos. But anyways, yeah, quick little update, and I hope you guys like it. This is my little man cave. I come out here. I stay out here until 1 o'clock in the morning working on stuff. I have all my tools out here sometimes, and it's fun. It's great for guys to have a place to go away from the house and away from everybody. That you can build stuff. So yeah, every man needs a shed. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.